Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closed lower on Tuesday, pressured by shares in capital goods, commercial and professional services, and utility sectors. On the economic dock at the NFIB Small Business Optimism Index, beating estimates reaching 105 in May, PPI final demand decelerating slightly by 0.1% in May, and this has 54% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Morgan Stanley and Citigroup expect trading and investment banking revenues to be impacted by a slump in client trading. This, according to the company's executive, cited by Bloomberg. Meanwhile, the Asian market's down today. The Nikkei down 0.35 percent. The Hang Seng down 1.73 percent. China's CSI 300 down three quarters of a percent. South Korea's Kospi down 0.14 percent. European markets losing ground. and U.S. futures call for a negative start. Now, in terms of expectations today, Lululemon Athletica first quarter EPS seen at 70 cents on sales of approximately $755 million. Meanwhile, economic data at 7 o'clock in the morning, we have MBA mortgage applications. 8.30, the core inflation rate month over month for the month of May. Meanwhile, in the markets, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That's moving towards 2860. The Nasdaq, that sees the downside prevail, and that's in focus. The relative strength index breaking down is 30 levels. Short positions below 7556 are favored, with targets at 7460 and 7436 in extension. While the Dow Jones, that's under pressure.